What an incredible piece. Thank you so much to Emily Thompson for joining us here at IDTV and spreading awareness on transgender issues. Up next, we have a segment produced by Amaris Blackmore about Baycat. Meow. Baycat is a local organization which involves the community in media workshops. Following that, we have a sports minute with the sexy Andrea Medina. So do not go anywhere. Seriously, don't go anywhere. My name is Marco Castro Cortes, and I'm the Educational Program Director here at Baycat. Hi, my name is Will Hammond, and I am the Digital Media Instructor for Offsite Programs. My name is Yashen, and I'm a Digital Media Arts Instructor here at Baycat. Baycat programs are, um, are necessary to be in the community, especially in the Baby Hunters Point community, because there is not other organization like it. Because we use um, equipment and state-of-the-art equipment cameras, software, and actually the people that teach classes uh, have, are highly trained. Um, and it is important for us to be here uh, so we can provide high quality programs to the community that deserve nothing but the best. We serve primarily youth from 11 years old to about 18, 17, 18 years old, middle school and high school. Um, and pretty much anyone who is curious about media or theater arts, or graphic design, animation, we accept everyone. I think it's just this amazing place where they feel really creative, very comfortable, and where they can sort of like start to unpack these media messages. The youth that work with us in Baker, they are aware of the power of media, um, but a lot of the times they are not aware of how powerful they can be at producing media. Beyond just the technical skills that we um, teach youth here, we're really giving them a safe space to feel creative, a place to explore feelings, to explore different current events, to explore and think about more deeply issues like social issues, environmental issues. So it's a, it's a place where it's not just about trying to learn these technical skills, but really critical thinking skills, community building skills. They're really working on character development. Our job is to actually make sure that the youth know that what is between you and I is the media, and that is very important. And when you create that, you have a social responsibility. To donate to Baycat, you can either send us cash donations uh, from our website, which is www.baycat.org, or if you'd like to send us any kind of equipment um, or anything that you think is media related, you can contact us at 415-701-8228 and talk to anyone here, and they would love to hear from you. Welcome to the Sports Minute. I'm your host, Andrea Medina, and today we're exploring the wonderful world of skateboarding. I checked out three local skate parks. The top pick was Patero Park, located off of Cesar Chavez, in the heart of the Mission District. I've been skating since I was like two. I've been skating like three. Skating since he was three. Born and raised here for Siskin. You can always catch a group of local youth outside eager to show off their skills on the board. Skateboarding originated in Southern California way back in the 60s. Now today, the Bay Area, the new generation has definitely inherited the passion to kick, push, and coast. Located off of Geneva Avenue, Crocker Amazon Skate Park has plenty of room for you to practice your flips, grabs or grinds in its 12-foot bowl. Finally, we visited Brisbane Park, located in the lovely town of Brisbane. It's fully equipped with a ramp, half pipe, and rail. So if you're looking for a couple of spots to skate around and practice, check out one of these local skate parks. And don't be embarrassed if you eat it. Practice does make perfect. But here at IDTV, we definitely encourage wearing a helmet and pads. Ouch. Hope you enjoyed your behind the scenes tour of your local skate parks. Now skating may seem like a male dominated sport, but girls, don't you hesitate to pick up a board too. Now up next, we have an in-studio interview with Artist Television Access. I'm Andrea Medina, and this has been your Sports Minute. Thanks, Andrea, for that spot minute.
Now we're going to check out a package about Atchis Television Access, also known as ATA. Producer Corey Weiss gathered with fellow independent filmmakers and attended the monthly screening night over at ATA. So grab some popcorn and tune in for the Bay Area's version of Sundance. Collective, you know, there's, I don't think anyone's even paid. There was a period when people were paid. That was, <laughs> it didn't work out. Anyone can go to the street and do a show, and there's not a whole lot of, of judgment or evaluation. Generally, if people think that they can get a show together, it's generally accepted, see. The community itself comes forward with ideas, because you know, the air is fraught with, with cultural changes. You know, like I say, I've been here for literally over a quarter century. I'm the, the mad uncle, you know, I'm the oldest guy here probably now, and uh, I have more of a historical sense. You know, I know really the, the kind of the original intention, the will. Fringe is, in fact, built into the name of my project, which is Other Cinema. It means, it means other, outside, marginal. And that's how we distinguish ourselves as Fringe, because we think Fringe is more interesting than mainstream or even the highbrow. Thunderbirds are go, but keep in mind I'm only going so far. I dare not set foot back. We're over. trying to kind of break down the that institution and those those categories and and move more toward the outside, towards new and interesting things. Yeah, ATA. This facility is happens to be a place that's large enough to accommodate my very funky archive, which you should check out in there. A lot of times people come from Europe and this kind of thing is a little bit more customary over there, a so-called cultural center. And then, uh, where's the cultural center here? You know, people might ask, well, well ATA is the one. So this is the last vestige of, you know, this idea of a, a kind of a collaboration, you know, a communal open uh, culture space. You know, actually that's probably one of the themes tonight. <laughs> 